What's up guys and welcome back for some more Pokemon Sun and Moon. In the last episode we caught our fourth Ultra Beast and in this episode we're gonna be catching our final Ultra Beast. So let's go into this restaurant that we are supposed to show up and uh, here we have Nanu and Looker. Okay, so Annabelle has already left. And uh, it looks like Looker sent her to a wrong location so that uh, she does not get killed by those Ultra Beasts. Yeah, we are a faller because uh, we did pass through that Ultra Wormhole just like Annabelle. Oh, so she had lost most of her memories. Except for... Yeah, I guess because of the fact that Looker pitied that Ultra Beast that they were trying to catch, that Ultra Beast attacked Annabelle and because of that attack, she lost uh, most of her memories. <laughs> oh my god, Nanu has got no chill. Yeah, she's probably gonna get killed if another Ultra Beast runs into her. Ah, uh, sure. So let's battle Lanu. I guess he's gonna test us to see if we are strong enough to catch this final Ultra Beast or not. And uh, this is our second time battling Nanu. So he's gonna send out his Sableye. As I do have Shigure in front. So let's just go for a Moonblast. As uh, they should be able to take out the Sableye. It is enough to take out the Sableye. And uh, that's one Pokemon down. So he's gonna be sending out Persian. Um, I'm gonna stay in because Persian is a dark type. It is really fast, however, it doesn't really pack much of a punch. It's gonna go for Fake Out. And uh, it probably has that uh, ability Fur Coat, which uh, doubles its defense. Or actually has the damage taken from physical moves. So let's go for a Moonblast, as uh, it is gonna take out this... Uh, it's Persian, and uh, that's two Pokemon down, and Shigure grew to level 58. And uh, he's gonna be sending out Crocodile, so I guess his Croc Croc evolved into Crocodile now. So, let's go into John, because uh, John has Drizzle, and also has Hydro Bomb. Hopefully this Croc Croc does not have Stone Edge, or something like that. Even though I kind of know that this thing might have that. So let's set up Drizzle. And let's go for Rain Boosted Hydro Pump. Okay, so it does not have a Rock type move. It's going to go for Crunch. As, oh my god, this thing dodges our, uh, our Hydro Pump. So it's going to go for Crunch and take us out. So that's bad. So let's go into C2. And let's just go for Trop Kick. This thing is gonna go for Crunch. And Trop Kick should help us in this situation because it's just gonna lower this thing's attack by one stage. And let's go for U turn to finish this thing off. It's gonna go for Aerial Ace. 
That's not... Oh, it is actually gonna kill us. Irialis is really weak, but still it did kill us. So let's go into Chigore. And let's just go for Sparkling Aria to take this thing out. So let's go for that. It's gonna go for Earthquake. We should be able to lift that because of that attack drop. Oh, we're not gonna lift that. This, cro this Crocodile is super strong. So... Let's go into Epona. And let's just finish this thing off with a Heavy Slam. Actually, Heavy Slam is not gonna take this thing out. Let's go for Earthquake. As uh, it's just gonna go for its own Earthquake. Not gonna do too much to Epona. And our Earthquake is going to take this thing out. So it's going to be sending out his last Pok- uh, not last, second last Pokemon, Honchkrow. So let's go into Pyron. Actually, I'm going to stay in with Apuna because I have that nice defense boost. So let's go for Rock Tomb. As this Honchkrow is going to use Psychic, okay. That's going to do quite a bit to Epona, and I'll have to use Max Potion. So let's go for Max Potion on Epona. Nice, it's just going to go for Psychic. Psychic is a pretty random move to have on a Honchkrow, and uh... It's actually gonna get a special defense drop on us, which is not good. So let's go for Rock Tomb and finish this thing off, as uh, this one is gonna do quite a bit. Wow, he gets a crit! Come on, dude. Let's go into Pyron then. And let's just go for Fire Punch. This is gonna go for Sucker Punch. That is gonna do so much damage. And this Fire Punch is gonna take out this Haunch Crow. And uh, he's about to send out Absol. Let's go into Zabzilla because we do have Brick Brick. So we can definitely go for that on this Absol. And uh, I don't think this is gonna be a Mega Absol because Island Kahunas probably do not have access to Mega Stone. So let's go for Brick Brick. On this thing as uh, it's gonna go for night slash if you don't crit me okay it does not crit me and uh, this brick brick is gonna do a lot of damage all right good it's gonna go for sucker punch that is also not gonna take us out and uh, zapzilla is able to finish off this absol with a brick brick so this was quite close battle actually Yeah, I think we are strong enough. I'm definitely not gonna let you down. Our final Ultra Beast. The codename is Gluton. So, it's in Resolution Cave. Deep in Resolution Cave. So, our final mission has begun, it looks like. And he's gonna give us some more beast balls. Alright, so let's go to Resolution Cave. And uh, find this uh, Ultra Beast. Let's actually heal up our Pokemon first because... I'm pretty sure Nanu didn't heal us. Yeah, he didn't heal us. So let's go in and heal our Pokemon first. So let's fly over to uh, Resolution Cave. But I don't think we have 
gone there before, so it's probably not gonna be available. Yeah, it's not available in our map, so let's go to uh, this place. And from there, we can go to Resolution Cave. Alright, so here we are on Ancient Pony Path. And let's use a Max Repel. Oh, <laughs> I've already used one. So, let's head to that place. And Cena and Dexio are here. <laughs> yeah, Mega Evolution from the Kalos region. This is not a time to battle. Like I'm an I'm on a super serious mission. Like Annabelle might die if another Ultra Beast attacks her. Not sure why they are fighting us now. And uh, Dexio actually has a Mega Bracelet. And I have C2 in front. So let's go for U-turn on this thing. It's gonna go for a Psychic. That is gonna do a lot. Yeah, that is gonna do so much damage. Holy crap. And this U-turn is also gonna do quite a bit. And let's go to Shigure. And let's finish off this Espeon with an Aqua Jet. Hopefully Dexio is not annoying enough to use a Max Potion. Okay, he's not. And this is gonna finish off this Espeon. Everybody is gonna get nice experience and he's gonna go into Raichu. So let's go into uh, Epona because Raichu is an electric type. Is it gonna be Alolan Raichu? Yeah, it says gonna be an Alolan Raichu. So let's go for Earthquake on this thing. It's gonna set up Reflect. Oh my god. That's gonna make this battle even more annoying. Even after the Reflect, it's just gonna take this Raichu out. And uh, he's about to send out Slow King. Okay, so let's go to C2 once again. He's gonna send out Slow King. And uh, let's go for our Trop Kick. They should be able to take this thing out, but I doubt because it's kind of high leveled. Okay, didn't even do anything. And uh, this thing is gonna use uh, Flamethrower. And that is gonna finish us off unfortunately so let's go into Zabzilla because we do have crunch and Zabzilla has nice special defense so I mean the sloking is not gonna be able to do too much to us and we actually outspeed this thing We do have Thick Fat, so Flamethrower and Ice Beam aren't really going to be doing any kind of damage to us. This thing is kind of annoying to take down, so let's go for a uh, Body Slam. And we actually paralyzed this thing. And uh, it's going to go for Psychic. Yeah, that's gonna do quite a bit. Because of that Reflect, it was really annoying to take this thing down. So let's go for Crunch. That is gonna take out the Sloking. And, uh... Zabzilla is gonna get a level up. And he's about to send out Metagross. So let's go into Pyron to roast this thing real quick with a fire blast so he's gonna send out Metagross so let's go for fire blast oh wow so it's gonna dodge that's gonna do so much to us 
Let's go for Fire Blast. We do not miss this time. And that is just gonna take this thing out. And he's gonna be sending out Alakazam. Yeah, that's gonna be a Mega Alakazam for sure. So let's go for Faint Attack. So they tweaked that whole Mega Evolution animation a bit to make it look more smooth. And uh, Salakazam is gonna trace our flame body. And uh, it is gonna indeed outspeed us and go for Psychic, which is gonna take us out, unfortunately. So let's go into Shigore and uh, let's just go for our uh, our Z move. So let's go for our Z move on this thing. Oh, this thing has energy ball. Okay, that's gonna take us out. Oh, we live. Nice. And even if this does not kill this Mega Alexan, then we can just go for Aqua Jet to take it out. I haven't really used the Z-move too much. And that is gonna take out this Mega Alakazam, nice! Yeah, we already know that. So, he's gonna give us a Keystone. And he's gonna give us an Alakazite. Good. So, we got our first Mega Stone. So, they're finally gonna leave us. And now we can continue on with our mission. Alright, so I healed up my Pokemon because Cena and Dexu didn't even heal up our Pokemon after interrupting us on this Ultra Beast mission, which is super serious. So let's go to Resolution Cave and definitely gonna use a Max Repel. And there's a trainer here, so let's sneak past him and uh, let's go here. Oh my god, so we're gonna encounter a Pokemon. Ah, uh, everybody is just interrupting us on this mission. NPCs, Pokemon, everything. So, let's run away. So let's go all the way up here and go here. Yep, I'm gonna use a max repel. And there we are in the resolution cave. So let's. Uh, where is my Modsdale? I don't have Modsdale registered. Okay. So, I'm gonna call Mudsdale. Let's use Tauros. Let's break these rocks. And we have to go in the basement. So let's put uh, Snorlax in front. Actually, I'm gonna put uh, Epona in front. And we have reached the basement, so hopefully we can find this Ultra Beast. And there we go, we have found it. So we are facing Guzzlord, who is a Dark Dragon type. And uh, 
that Aura is going to boost its attack by two stages. It really doesn't have very good defense or special defense, but it has a lot of HP. So let's go into Zapzilla because this thing's catch rate is 15, so it's much more hard to catch compared to other Ultra Beast. It's going to go for Ring Out. It's going to do quite a bit. So let's go for Body Slam and try to get a para as uh, it's going to go for Thrash. Oh wow, so that is actually going to take us out. And uh, it's just going to get Beast Boost. So let's go to Epona. Yeah, this thing is going to be a pain to catch. So let's just go for Earthquake. As uh, it's just going to go for Thrash. Oh my god! This thing is so powerful. Okay, I have to run away from this thing. All right, good. So let's let's actually prepare this time. And uh, let's use revive on Epona and on Snorlax. And let's use max potion on two of our Pokémon. Um we should have, uh, where the hell did it go? We should have, uh, X defense. I don't think I have X defense. Okay, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem indeed. So, let's do this once again and hopefully cast this thing. This actually looks like Terminus Cave. Oh my god. So, we're gonna encounter it once again. Yeah, this thing is gonna be annoying to catch. So, let's just go for Earthquake on this thing. As uh, it's just gonna go for a Thrash. Yeah, that's gonna do so much damage, and because of stamina, uh, we will be able to take that. Earthquake is gonna do a lot of damage. And uh, let's actually use uh, the full restore on... Uh, on Epona. As it's just gonna go for Thrash. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Why did you get a crit? Man, this thing is so annoying. Holy crap, this thing. I'm gonna go into C2 and I'm gonna hit this thing up with a U-turn. Let's go for U-turn. Yeah, that's not gonna take this thing out. Let's go into, um, let's go into Zapzilla. I mean, it's just gonna go for uh, Thrash. Yeah, that is gonna take out my Snorlax. Good God, this thing is annoying to catch. So let's go into um, let's go into John. And uh, let's just go for Beast Ball and hopefully try to capture this thing. Hopefully this thing hits itself in confusion. So let's go for Beast Ball. One, two, three. Have we caught this thing? Oh my god, it's gonna break out. Okay, hit yourself. Good. It's... Oh my god, this thing is so stupid. It's actually gonna take himself out. Dude, come on. Don't annoy me. It got a crit on my opponent. Like, come on. Can you not? So let's use Revive and uh, let's use uh, Hyper Potion. There we go. So let's try this one more time. This thing is so annoying. And this whole place looks like Terminus Cave from Pokemon X and Y. I'm not even gonna lie. And the place where there was a Zygarde, there's actually a... 
Zygarde cell. So that's kind of suspicious. So we found this thing once again. <sighs> Let's go for Earthquake on this thing. It's gonna go for Thrash straight up. Okay, do not crit me this time, Gus Lord. That's not gonna do anything. Okay, let's go for a full restore on Epona. And this is. This is like super annoying. So this is gonna go for a Thrash once again. That stamina is definitely gonna help us. Let's go for. Uh, Let's actually go for another Earthquake on this thing. It's gonna go for Thrash once again. Alright, good. That did quite a bit. And actually, let's use uh, Full Restore once again on Epona. It is gonna hit itself in confusion. So let's go for a beast ball and try to catch this thing. This thing does have capture rate of 15. Other ultra beasts have like 45. It's gonna go for thrash again. I'm pretty sure my Mudzale is at plus 5 defense at this point. So let's go for a beast ball, and this thing is just so annoying to catch. Have we caught it? Oh my god, it's gonna break out last second. And it's gonna go for more thrash. So let's go for beast ball once again. Hopefully this thing does not kill itself while it's in confusion. Yeah, this thing is annoying. It's gonna go for more thrash. And I'll have to use a full restore on Epona once again. Epona is at plus 6 defense at this point. I'm not sure if this thing is gonna die or not because if it hits itself then I think it's gonna die so let's go for another beast ball please don't break out good oh my god finally finally we catch this thing it was so annoying so we caught our final Ultra Beast Gus Lord. And it has been registered in our Pokedex. So there we go. So let's use Escape Rope and uh, get the hell out of here. And let's go to Seafolk Village. Looker is going to be pretty happy that he completed this mission and caught all of the Ultra Beast. And we have finished our mission. So Annabelle is gonna come back.
So she's gonna send all of the data by Guzzlord to Wick. And uh, we finally did it. Oh, Looker is so nice. He doesn't take any credit. Okay, so we have to go to Ether Paradise. Yeah, sure. So let's go to Ether Paradise. And I think we have to go into that secret lab, I guess. Where we met her to get that Pokeball, known as Beast Ball. So let's go in there. And we have to go to the lower floor. Which is of course a lab area. So we are here and... Let's go in. Yep, so we were supposed to meet up here. So is she gonna give us some kind of reward for doing this mission? I hope so. That's a lie. We could have still caught those things with normal Pokeball. I mean other Pokeball like Ultra Ball or something. Even Dust Ball would have helped. The three of us. Yeah, do not forget my man Looker. He's probably hungry or something. Yep, he's back. Yeah, so he was indeed hungry and uh, he was gonna get Malsada as a gift. A mysterious black creature. And it was refracting light. She's just not trusting Looker. Wow. So they're just gonna pass off what Looker said by telling him that he was tired. So finally, they are going to be going on a vacation. <laughs> Looker is just... <laughs> Looker was shocked. <laughs> So she's gonna leave.
and he's gonna give us so much money wow oh my god we got so much money holy crap so he's gonna be staying in the motel on Mele Mele Island and wow that was that was a really good reward actually ah I was hoping for a cutscene or something so that is going to be it I guess we completed our missions and we caught all of the ultra beasts unless looker is not hallucinating and he actually saw a black creature flying so that is gonna be it for this video we caught our final ultra beast ghost lord and in the next episode, I guess we're going to be catching our uh, other Tapu Guardians, other Tapu Pokemon. I'm not sure what to call them. They are Tapu Pokemon, Tapu Lele, Tapu Bulu, and stuff like that. So we're going to be catching those in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.